Today we're doing episode 1 of the Swansea career mode. I'm just doing this because I've never actually live streamed a Swansea career mode on my channel. No I haven't. Well, it must be somebody else's channel, it wasn't mine. We've got a, like, we've got a semi-decent team, like, we've got players I'm not going to use, like Wayne Routledge, Van der Hoorn, Dyer, but then we've got young players who I could use, like, Gui, Jan de Handa, Roberts, and Wilmot, and stuff, so, it's got young players and players who I probably wouldn't use. But we've got Freddie Woodman, Bidwell, Rodon, Gabango. Don't know why he's a starting centre back. Put him there for the now. We've got Kyle Notting, Ayu, Fulton, Grimes, Salenia, Gallagher and Brewster. I'll keep Brewster for this season, then next season I don't know whether I'll bring him back permanently or whether I'll get a new striker. But even if I need to, if I change my mind or I you can play a striker then I could easily just get a new right mid or just use this guy. 91 pace for Kalulu, what a name. Doesn't even sound like a French name, Kalulu. So I'm gonna list everyone up, doesn't mean I'm actually gonna get rid of them. Mulder can leave, I need a younger goalkeeper. I'm bringing back Declan John, because I want him to be my starter. <coughs> Sunderland. So we're gonna loan at Cabango. I'm gonna get rid of Van der Hoorn. Ben Wilmot is on loan. When you need motivation, the one solution is a genie and she stays strong. Yeah, yeah. Keys de Bo. I don't know if that's Frank de Bo's son, but it's spelled the same way. So wait, I'll check see if Frank de Bo has a son. Uh, Frank Frank de Bo. Frank de Boer's son. Does Frank de Boer have a son? Yes, that is Frank de Boer's son. Wayne Routledge will get rid of him. I'm gonna bring back Montero and Barry Mackay just to get rid of them because I'm not planning on using them. Connor Gallagher or Gaz in my stream. Gaz, why did you change your channel name? He said lol. How come every he goes into people's streams just saying lol? Ooh, I could use this guy, 71 rated. What? Because I want to. Join my stream and ask him. R3 bound. You should be subbed so then you won't need to fucking type my channel name in. So guys, we are on 11 million. I'm gonna set up our scouting network. 
Taylor Green will go with him. Or her. It could be a woman. It's 2019, we can't It's 2020, we can't assume genders. That left us with, that's leaving us with 9 mil. They want me to reach the round of 32 stage for the FA Cup and fight for promotion. If I can do that, then it'll be fine. Because if I win the FA Cup and get promoted, then I get Europa League first time in the Prem. Guess why you don't want to join party when your dad is at home, but when he's to talk to Sam. You have to retype it in Gaz language for him to understand, Mason. So I'm gonna train some young players. I'm gonna train Freddie Woodman. Because I'm, br I'm definitely bringing Woodman back next season. Newcastle can go fuck yourself, I'm bringing him back. Uh, Connor Roberts is my starting right back, so if he's starting, I need to get him higher rated than 71. Um, don't know how to train here. Selenia, I don't need to train him, he's 73. I'll train Connor Gallagher. Guys, <laughs> Andrew, Andrew trained Dick on John. Who the hell's that buddy Bidwell guy? So four training drills are doing. Three, three defenders, one midfielder, and one goalkeeper. In the group stage, we got Molda, FK, Rosenberg, BK. What a name! Rosenberg Burger King. That's what it stands for. Answer, guys. Guys, you need to answer him. What did they say? So they want him. I'll sell him because then I could bring in a new goalkeeper. Someone like Mouse Velar maybe. Because Mouse Velar, every time I use him, he's a brilliant goalkeeper. Or I could just sign someone as a backup since I'm bringing Freddie Wood Woodman back permanently anyway. Jay Fulton Stein, he's a starting CDM. So, if somebody else comes in for offers for him, I'm just gonna block all offers. Ooh. So, Cal... Cagli... La Cagli Larry, whatever the hell you pronounce that, want Mike Vanderholm. 45.2, let's go in and negotiate an offer. See if I can get like seven million from them. I'll start by going. I'll see if I can get like seven point six to start with. Oh, they've accepted that. First deal they've accepted. Je they want Jefferson Montero. He used to actually. He used to be a good player for Swansea, in like two thousand. and 14, he used to actually be a decent player for them. Remember that Mason when he actually used to be a good player for them? Jefferson Montero. Internacional want him. Well, he, they're part of the Brazilian League. And if I sell him to Brazilian League, then he'll be the first player with a face. Because he haven't got the fucking license for the Brazilian League. Well, everybody wants a buddy Van der Ammer League in, which is non-league. Everybody wants it in, but I doubt they'll do that because I don't think they have the license to do that. 
Like Pez have got the license to do it. Random gaming answer me. He hasn't even said anything to you guys. Like Pez don't have the license like Pez have got the license to bring in the Van Naranda re League out of the hell it's called, so if Pez just be kind and give it to EA we could have we could have like Hartlepool and all that next season. If if we on if we do have the English fifth tier in FIFA twenty one If we do then I'll be able to do a road to glory with like Hartlepool or whoever else is in there. I fifth English fifth tier. Liam Cullen can go out and loan to whatever team that places whatever place that team's from. Montero sold. Callum with Barry Mackay. I'd rather sell him to a British team because he's Scottish, and I don't think a Scottish guy got. That team's realistic. But we have eleven million. Let's get Lucas Namecha. He's a brilliant striker. Let's offer six mil for Namecha. I don't know, Karim would with Namecha and I got him to 70 rating in the first season. I'll play a two striker formation. I'll have, I'll have Brewster and Namecha up front. Because they're both two good strikers. Namecha used to be English and they used to play for yeah, Man City. And now his brother plays for Man City. He'll probably change to German as well at some point in his career. That buddy Felix Nemecha who plays for Man City. At random gaming, hey. What the fuck's he actual doing, man? Just texting random shit in my chat. If you keep texting random stuff. You're gonna get timed out. So block office of Fulton. What? And guys, you're not even supposed to be talking to me anyway. So why are you in my stream? Ben Wilmot's out for six weeks. Boo hoo. I could care less. <laughs> Oh, Felix Neme uh, Lucas Nemecha joined. He's 68 rated, which is good. So now we're switching to our two striker formation. So we're having him over nothing. Wait, can he play centre back? No. Jake Bidwell, what team did he come from? Oh, now that we've got Declan John back, cause he's gonna be my starting left back. And if we switch to a two striker formation, like this, we have Fulton there. Where Grimes can play. I'll play who's faster. Fulton's fa faster. I'll play. F I'll play Grimes at calm. <laughs> that guy can't he play at calm. <coughs> what? Can't hear you. He's literally just fucking lagged about ten million times. No. I'm gonna train Yanda Handa. He used to play. He used to play for Liverpool. <sighs> but. 
put this this team in um, Belgium, I think. Want Mark Gouhe. Nightbot, can you piss off? Don't even fucking have Nightbot. But we're rejecting that. The allies you have set for this command does not exist. Shut the fuck up. So Connor Gallagher is 71 rated, which is very good. If I get rid of Grimes, then I could have Gallagher as my starting cam. But he's a cam. Jake Ray and Brewster done well for Swansea. <laughs> Lampard must know I think he's ready for the starting team yet. Advanced. Don't know ask Lampard. <gasps> Is it Indian or something or like Algerian? <laughs> Shanghai won Gui. Well, I'm not sending them to China because of the bloody coronavirus. No, he's not even in my stream. I don't think. One. Oh, boo -hoo. So that guy loaned out Independiente one. Connor Roberts. Well, he's my starting right back, so no one's getting him. Right, so Eric, Eric Dyer, Nathan Dyer, can go to RB Salzburg because I'm not planning on using him. So he's basically just sitting here wasting 12 grand of our wage budget. And he's worth fuck all, yeah. So Nathan Dyer has been here for about ten seasons. He's been loyal to the club, and now he's leaving. Was that when Swans are on the prem? We're keeping Yanda Honda. Shit, I didn't mean to negotiate. I meant to reject it. I'm just going to offer 100 million. Although they're not going to accept it. 101 mil. It's frozen, no, I doubt they'd be able to accept 101 mil. Unless they get fucking Roman Abranovich taking them over, then they would. But does he <laughs> does he not want to play anymore? Barcelona want him back. Barcelona want to bring him back to the camp now. So I could go for a better centre back because Gray is only 61 rated. There's one player I need to bring into the team and it's a Scottish youngster. 
by the name John Fleck <laughs> and Billy Gilmore. <clears throat> the Scottish Iniesta, as people call him. Which I agree, because he is a good young player. But he's playing for the wrong team. Yoko, Yoko Mama Tiles can go fuck herself. Right, so skip up. Ah, this, this guy's called Connor Roberts. If I sign him, we're gonna have two guys in the team called Connor Roberts. Oh, da 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 la la la, ba la ba la da. <clears throat> Billy Gilmore, fifteen grand a week. Oh, we ever hear from you is la la la. Cause la 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 All we ever hear from you is la 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 All we ever hear from you is la 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 Cause we don't care what they say So our first game is against Hull City Which I'm going to sim We drawed 1-1 one -one cause Jay Fulton scored Billy Gilmore, there's two Scottish guys in the team now. Under 21. Oh boy. He doesn't think he's ready, although he's had more game time at Pedro's had. <laughs> That's what I did mean Snapchat some random person. Player returns from injury. Who's returning for injury? Yay, well not. Right, so I need to bring in a centre back. All we ever hear from you is la la la. <sighs> Nikola Katic. I'm just gonna pay a 6 million release clause because he's worth it. Unplug your mic because it's lagging. Hey, hey, Katich, ooh, ah, I wanna know, Nicola. We're facing Derby. The only sh the only good thing about Derby is they've got Wayne Rooney. They've got the shape players like Max Bird. Graham Shinney, Tom Lawrence. Oh, Bird wasn't he playing? Player suspended. Connor Roberts, woohoo. So we are facing Preston North End in the round one of the cup and we've signed Nicky, Nicky Katic. He's only 22 so he's still got a lot to prove. 
Hopefully Nikola Kartic could be a good player in the Prem. He's never experienced playing in the Prem, so I don't know whether he would be. So let's put Kartic there. 71 rating. All we ever hear from you is la la la. We are in the top four. Two games, six, two games, four points. We're facing Preston North End again. At the home. We're gonna play the QPR match. Oh, we win 2 1. Salenia's injured. So we're in fourth place now. Salenia's injured, so we're putting Pedersen in for this game. Wayne Routledge might actually get a start for the team. Billy Gilmore could be getting a start as well. I need to get rid of Byers. I need to get rid of Matt Grimes. Because when I get rid of Grimes, then Connor Gallagher will be getting first team football. Save that. We're going into the QPR game. With seven points. Selenia's so out for like a week or something, I don't know. Brandon Cooper can go out and loan. This is the first and only game we're playing. Well, it'll be two games, we'll play this game, and then we'll play the Birmingham game. And maybe Bolton. So we're away to QPR, we're at Loftus Road. Chayanne Prince. Foundation. Oh, what did QPR Stadium used to be called? Don't even know, but we're. They changed it to Cayenne Prince for some reason. So, this is a lineup going into the game. Woodman and Nets, Declan John, Ron, Rodon, Katic and Roberts, Peterson, F Fulton, Grimes, Ayu, Nemecha and Katic. Katic is making his first game, his first debut for Swansea here. And then on the bench we have Kaluku, Gilmore, Yanda Handa, Wilmot. Notting, Routledge and Gold. <coughs> so we're gonna play this match now. No. <laughs> but did what was QPR Stadium called before the Cayenne Prince Foundation? 
Was it Loftus Road or was it actually a name? Hello once again, we're in West London. I thought it actually at Loftus had a Road, name. the home ground of Queen's Park Rangers. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Let's go Smith, Prince to Foundation. You all. We have football today from the Championship in England. Queen's Park Rangers against Swansea City. No, because first three games is a QPR fan and he said he didn't really like that as well. I hope the match doesn't disappoint. I don't so, think it will. We've got a couple of attacking QPR. sides here. Number five, R21st. Number 20. This game really is a chance for him to express himself. Ooh. He really enjoys Player the game. Player to watch, Ryan Drustoff uh, scored five goals in the last three matches. A joy to watch for me. That's actually decent. Ryan Drustoff actually coming out his shell now that he's actually getting first team game time. Live from Loft, live from Loftus Road. Loftus Road's a, Loftus Road's a made-up stadium because it's in the game. <coughs> but is Loftus Road in this game? Oh, what a block! What? Because a, a guy called Kyan Prune, Pr well, Hursty Games told me that a guy called Kyan Prince put money into QPR. He was just like a normal QPR fan, and he put all his hard working money into it. And he started a foundation <coughs> for something, and then that's what they made, made them change the stadium name. Jake Clark almost fucking scored. I've got a Newcastle goalkeeper in this. Swung in from the corner. Defender did well to get to it. I've got a really I've got a better well, Newcastle goalkeeper than fucking and Martin Dubrovka. Shub. What's a tiny? Thank you very much, Alan. Can you stop that or you're getting kicked at the fucking party? No, because I don't talk to Pedos. I didn't invite him. Or is he tried to score? <coughs> Still going. Fine run this. Here's a chance to stretch the opposition with a bit of width. This guy said, could I could a person with a grey car please come to the reception desk? Got some goal news for you from the Leeds United fixture and it's Alan McAnally who can tell us all about it. It's a goal for Brentford. Twenty minutes played, one nil. Cheers, Alan. Over to you. Come on. Come on, Andre. QPR. Andre, are you? I need to give him a game up at a striker one time. What a pass up. I don't know if I was out there. Oh, fuck, I've given away a pen. No, Rodon, what are you doing? <coughs> Rodon, what the fuck are you doing? Well, it's another chapter of drama here. The referee has pointed to the spot. He has shown the red card. Hey, Ezzy, where are you banging up? This is a game that uh, you couldn't see who might win it, but I think we can now. Ezzy went left. He chipped it. He chipped it left. <laughs> Alan, not something you did too often in your distinguished career. That was bullshit, that taco was new off a red card. Aye. That is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. I might start losing now that I've got a defender red carded. 
What a Ryan Manning trying to fucking score a goal. It's a goal for Cardiff City. 34 minutes played. 1-0. Eagle as always from Alan McAnally. Open the Metro over to Brewster. Looking for goal now. Super block. Ref, that should be a pen. He tackled me inside the box. Saw the pass and dealt with it. Well, right, O.C. Samuel's a fast winger for QPR. For Even Matty Grimes can't he catch up to him. I probably need to sign Bright O'Shea Samuel because he's the fastest winger on the fastest winger on the championship. He is. Jed Wallace is at fucking 70 pace, fuck's sake. Short with the corner. Excellent play to must score. Shooting chance. Well, the referee has signaled for half time, and it's one. So it's half time. We're one nil down. Right, right so I'm I'm, cha I'm changing formation. Uh, I use playing up front. I'm gonna have Brewster playing on it calm and the Mitchell playing at right mid. I'm probably I'm actually gonna give Wayne Routledge a game. I don't even know when the last time was fucking Swansea used Wayne Routledge. But I'm feeling generous, I'm gonna give my game. As we get ready for the second half. Got the tackle in. Clark. I'm playing world class. How can world class with championship teams is easier than it is with Prem teams? Tries the shot. He stopped it pretty creditably, I think. Put you on a bit. Can only put it behind for the corner. And in it goes. Well, he's hit the man guarding the front post. It's a poor corner. Manning. <laughs> Tries to shot here. What a save, Woodman. Straight forward for the keeper this time. Oh, mistake by the goalkeeper. <laughs> Drive. In the Fulham game, there's news of a goal. Alan McInally. The Metro, come on. Third goal for Fulham, <coughs> fucking hell. Ah, oh, Fulham are beating Millwall 3 0. Queen's Park Rangers busy on the bench, and the change is going to take place. Now he wants to take them on, guiding it through. But did Millwall get new owners or something? Well, the, se well, the season isn't going to stop back up, so I doubt you will get promotion playoff. Oh, and the Metro could have scored to make that 1 1. That's what every season will be. Because Rain. Because Rangers have still got two old firms to play. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. Coming up on Airdrie United have already finished. Like Scottish third and second have already finished. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. I think we're gonna see some good football. They've already finished their season. It's good attacking play this from them. Looking to create an opening. 
Do you know who that guy is? Swansea City in their next game. They're playing Birmingham City in their next match in the championship. And the way that they're playing, I think they'll win it pretty comfortably. And have a stoppage in a minute for a go, mixed Birmingham bread. Fresh player. I know you still on these Rangers. Who have splashed the cash on this new acquisition. Well, well anybody could beat Pedro Cashino. Well, it's actually hit the frame of the goal, but that's <laughs> it's scored from there with such power. Just didn't seem to be concentrating enough, maybe took his eye off the but ball. But Kalulu's coming on. What can he do what can he do for the next ten minutes? Are we gonna lose or are we gonna draw? <coughs> right. Fresh legs coming on the pitch as Kalulu joins in on the attack. Oh, Connor Roberts come on. Andre Ayu could have jumped up the head of that there. Let's hear about a goal in the Leeds United match from Alan McInally. It's a goal on Leeds United. Five minutes from me. Three one. Thank you very much, Alan. Brentford are beating Leeds. Three one. What a save, Woodman. Fresh legs again as Yanda Handers come on. on. Mate, this is fucking fifth corner, years of hood. Mate, come on, Kalulu. Are you every year? You need to run. Oh, we, lo we lost 2 0. Fucking Mark Pugh, mate. You used to play for fucking Bournemouth. Get the fuck you, old cunt, man. Oh, my giddy spoon. The Ars are celebrating massively because that would give them three points. Aye. That's. That's their nickname, the Oz. Come on, you Oz. <laughs> That's Celtic. So we're we're going we're going in a different lineup to this game. We're going we're going to have Ayu playing up front. You wanna but What you wanna but <laughs> What's he actually talking about? Oh yes, I know what mascots are. Kai Hovell. He's always had his actual game face. And what the fuck's Adelity? What is Adelity? We're at home against Birmingham. We're, we're at the Liberty Stadium. Actually, it's a fully licensed stadium in the game. <coughs> so, none of these fucking shitey default stadiums have actually got the real life. And our referee for this game is Stephen Martin. Handballs don't count in this game. I turned my handballs off. I used 29, but he's still as good as he was when he was in the prem. And welcome 
Welcome to the Liberty Stadium. We're at home, so hopefully we can win this game and take away three points. But it's against Birmingham, I doubt we'd lose. But we lost against the Rs and they'll in Q QPR or Shuttle than Swansea. Was it in foot jumps? Edison. Well, let's dissect the Swansea City lineup. Pretty well Pretty done, Brayton. This formation lead. Yeah, it can be a four-two-three-one in the offensive mode, but it can also but cup, go back wait, to a cup. Give me a point. Defending the lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number ten who will be given a free roll. What? <laughs> Are they shaped at pens? <coughs> Standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very... No, I don't want the coronavirus. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. Please remain seated after the game. On the ball, Bella. Not a good pass. Was well, it the Carabao Cup or the, the FA Cup? The what the fuck are Liverpool doing in the Carabao Cup? <laughs> Carabao Cup is a cup for shape teams. Yep. Just drifted into the illegal position, offside, in the opinion of the officials. Fulton but. now, a bit sloppy in possession. No, 11. That's realistic, that's a realistic possession for Swansea. Real difficulty keeping the ball. For Swansea City, an unpleasant experience last time out when they lost against Queen's Park Rangers. <coughs> Do you think when the league starts back up, Millwall could get into the prim? Are you better than Gareth Southgate? One now there we go. There we go, Salenia scored to make it one now. There's Marcel Schmelzer with Marcel Schmelzer died as hell to try and disguise him so. Is he's got black hair on this game? He died as hell to try and disguise him so. <clears throat> well, that that should have been offside because Ayu was standing in that offside position. One then. There's an English striker who plays for Birmingham called Just Kowitz. Yeah, that sounds like a Polish name. How's he not Poland? Thanks very much, as always, Alan. Sure. Just couldn't keep the ball. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. <laughs> Is it going to end up being productive for them? Oh, a fine block. 
They don't normally need a second invitation to give it a go on the counter. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Kalulu over to Fulton. Fulton to Grimes. Grimes tried to pass to Salenia. And with that, the first half draws to a close. 1 0 at half time. I don't even need to make any subs because our team's doing well. Again, so. What did Glenn Murray score? Um, Who have you seen for Brighton? Milivojevic. When, when the transfer window opens, get Kartic or Goldson. Because both of them are linked with Brighton, because well, Goldson wants to come back to Brighton. We get Connor Goldson, he, he's realistic. Are you going to do that in January, bring Goldson back? The reason they joined Rangers is because they had a heart problem and they couldn't fix it. They couldn't have done about it in Brighton because they didn't have the right stuff. So he, he came to Glasgow to get a surgery and then he just signed for them while he just signed for us while he was here. He's like, fuck it, I'll just sign for Rangers while I'm here. The drama of the Carabao Cup, and it's live with us here on EA TV. It's Birmingham City facing Nottingham Forest. Yeah, break from league action for players. Always a good atmosphere when it's knockout football. Should be a great match, that. Apologies to our viewers for cutting Alan McAnally short there. Just to confirm, West Brom have scored in that match. Let's go to Alan McAnally for the updates. Oh, it's 2 0. Crystal Palace. 2 0 in the 89th minute. Crystal Palace is winning. Because Luka Milivojevic just managed to put the ball in the back of the net for my penalty to make it 2 0. Thank you, Alan, for that update. No bother, mate. Oh well, look at Sunjic trying to fucking score. Let me just make it to now. Dan Crowley, the Chelsea reject. Connor Gallagher, Chelsea reject. Birmingham scored. Who scored? Hogan. Hogan, the Aston Villa reject. Or Jiskowitz. And here's a player to watch as well, and he's just fucking scored against us. He looks like fucking Jabe Alonso. <laughs> oh, Graham. You're a cunt. You're a cunt. Be able to trouble them here. Peterson. Crossing opportunity. Really a very poor ball. What was your dad playing FIFA? <laughs> Scott Hogan now. Does, does he even know how to play? Intelligent threaded pass here. It's there for him. Tell him what I give him another game.
I'm drawing against Birmingham. That's offside. Finally, just got a shot. He, he looks so much like fucking Jean, mate. Jean. I don't know if Marcos, Alonso and Xabi Alonso are related. But when he plays for Fiorentina. Oh, did he kill him? Well, how is he still... How is it... How is it not his fault? There we go, we, we, I just punched my headset. <laughs> I just, I went to scratch my ear and I just fucking punched my headset. <laughs> Did you hear that? <coughs> what? Did you hear that? <coughs> Well, <coughs> the game's done. There we go, Conor Gallagher, seventy-two rated. <coughs> right, guys, I'm gonna end this here, but tomorrow we'll be playing against. Bolton Wanderers in the uh, Caribou Cup. Then we're playing against Leeds, Nottingham, and probably Bristol as well. Or we could sim Nottingham game and just go straight to Bristol. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Comment if if you want to. You can comment who you think I should sign. Because I'm still in the transfer window and I have got one mil. So I have been turn on post not turn on post notifications if you want to get notified whenever I upload. I've been rebound gaming. Yours have been my viewers. Peace out.